Run with Tab is here. Give you knowledge and cheer. Teaching is what I do. Motivated to inspire you. Learning can be fun for our daughters and sons. Let's have fun to explore. Receive the knowledge to open doors. Fun with Tab is the one. Learning can be fun. Learning is the key to make a better society. As you know, February is Black History Month. And today, this is part two of the mathematicians and scientists of four African Americans. And the first one is a very intelligent sister named Dr. May C. John, uh, Jemison. She is a mathematician. She's also an engineer. She is also an astronaut as well as a physician. This sister has all kind of skills. And she, in 1992, she was the first African American woman to go up in space. So Dr. May C. Jemison, excellent. You are definitely a role model for our young African American girls. Keep up the good work. The next person I want to talk to, not too many people know about him. His name is Mark Dean. And Mark Dean is a computer scientist and engineer. And he is the first person who invented the first gigahertz computer chip. And he is inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1997. Very proud. So the next time you use a computer, think of Mark Dean. And that's the reason why your computer runs so fast. Because Mark Dean invented the first gigahertz computer chip. The next person, I know you're going to remember him because every summer we always use these items every summer. It's called the Super Soaker. And the person who invented it was Lonnie Johnson. And he also invented the Nerf gun. The Nerf gun. And he is also a mathematician and engineer. But did you also know? that he was an engineer for the United States Air Force. A job well done, done, Mr. Lonnie Johnson, but we definitely gonna remember you for the person that invented the super soaker and the Nerf gun. And he also has 120 patents. And the last person I want to talk to is Mr. John Urschel. Now, John Urschel, you should know of him because he played for the Baltimore Ravens. And you say, what? A mathematician that played football? He did. He, was, he pursued math. He got his bachelor's and master's degree in mathematics. And he played uh, football for the Baltimore Ravens in 2014. And he retired in 2017 at the age of 26. Now, he is pursuing his PhD in mathematics at MIT. So now we know that math can be also used in football. Great job, 